We are in the biggest inflatable park in Latin America. Look how amazing it looks. It's shaped like a castle. And the craziest thing is that the whole park is over 300 meters long. That's like imagining a 70-story building or joining 10 buildings together. And the coolest thing is that it's full of slides and obstacles to play with. The coolest thing is that you are going to accompany me to go around the whole circuit to see what's inside. This is just the entrance. There's a lot of space we can use, and there's a lot of fun in there. So are you ready to get to know it? Let's go! Look at this part. It's like a playground or a climbing area. It didn't work, guys. What? Look at this. There's a trampoline inside the trampoline. Let's see how far I can bounce. Look for yourself. This part is like to make a war. Look. I mean, there's so much stuff and it's just like the living room. Like the living room, like the living room of the house, like a coffee room. There's even a climbing wall. What is this supposed to be? I think I'm going to take flight from way in the back and go through it to make it more adrenaline packed. Fantastic, look, it's too cool. You guys can come and do competitions with your friends because there's first, second, and third place. And obviously Yolanda Moreno got the first place because I'm alone. And the first place doesn't want me, I want him. This is the second entry. Here there are other kind of games. I think they are even more obstacles. It's like a circuit. The idea is to do it as fast as possible. If I manage to do all this obstacle course in less than 30 seconds, you give like to this video. Do you understand? Okay, we're ready. The clock on the screen. I deserve that like. You share it. Ready. Okay, I'm already inside the track and I have to go as fast as I can because it's 30 seconds I'm turning around. Of course I am, of course. I'm lost. Okay, I see the start. Almost there! Oh, now I'm gonna do it, but I tell you what, I've got an incredible exercise for the body. Swallow! Here I'm going to throw myself on my back because there's no fear. Plastic! How are you? Welcome to my home! This is the way to get to the mountain, I tell you. Come on! Welcome to my home. We have two options. Go through the mountain to climb or run at full speed through this pile of obstacles. What do you prefer? Climb or run? If we take into account that in the first part we passed a lot of obstacles, I think this time I would choose to climb because I find it fun to have to throw myself or the mystery of seeing what is after the mountain. So let's go. I don't know if I'm in physical condition to do that. Good thing I'm a 35, guys. It's not gonna work, but I know since I knew I was coming to this park, I brought some non-slip socks because Yolanda always comes prepared. Since she has these little plastic things, or I don't know, rubber things, I don't know what they are, she's gonna allow me to grab myself like a Spider-Man. I love the Enterprise. What did I tell you? See, there's a giant toboggan here. Seriously, I'm telling you, no matter what age I'm gonna be at some point in my life, I'm always gonna love inflatable parks, and I love showing them to you guys. A dive. 190 degree aerobic analytical position. Here's to you and YouTube. 
Welcome to my living room. This part of here is a bit quieter. It's for a walk to have a coffee. These are the cheeks. Donate for donate. Motive for motive. That's it. That's it. We didn't make it, team. See this part. They are like trampolines that you have to jump from side to side to pass the obstacle I have seen this many times on television. And I know that when they are going to pass something like this, they have to take flight from behind to do it fast. Because if not, they fall down. Here is the first exit, but obviously, as we love adrenaline here, we are going to continue. Oh, see, there are a lot of balls here. I mean, I think the goal is that we jump over each one of them to pass to the other side. Although I tell you, see this, there is too much distance between ball and ball. I mean, it will be super difficult, but as it is more elastic, I don't think anything will happen to me. And if something happens to me, I want to tell you that I love you. Okay, ball number one, and this? You know what? Let's pretend this part didn't happen. See this part? It's a bunch of spikes. Can you imagine this being real? It would be a lethal weapon. The cool thing is that I think passing this is gonna be super easy, because if you see it's pretty tough, the camera's tough. Let's see what's behind this. I'm a little bit scared because it looks like it's something difficult. What do I do to you? Did you see? They are in uniform. Everything is yellow and white Pacific springtime. Let's go in. As if to dance, as if to do a little dance. comfortable in the house. There are other zigzag trampolines. But since we've already been through a nursing home, what I'm going to do in this one is to go through the whole center, jumping up and down. We arrive at another part. This is the part where we have to climb, and we have two options, the lowest part and the higher part. Obviously the lower part is safer and that's why I decided to go for the higher one. May fear never paralyze you to fulfill your dreams. And mine now is to climb this. We got to the top and now we have to jump on a giant trampoline. If you see there's like a circle and we're supposed to land there like to earn points mentally. See, I know it looks like in the video that it's not that high, but it is. I mean, look at the distance. If you made it this far, remember to subscribe and like it because I love you. It's incredible and very high. From here, you can see it. From there, we jump at full speed. Where are my glasses? Glasses. Okay, we just came out on this side. That's where the giant trampoline is. That's where we just launched. That's where we came in. And over there is another entrance. On this side is a mountain to climb. And you know who it looks like to me? Pay attention to the colors. Did you see the Mario character named Bowser? I think it's Bowser. Bowser or Bowser? Well, he looks like he's got a big spiky shell and it's... What? See this 
cool part? It's like, it's DNA. Did you see that it sticks like this? And then there are some crossed sticks and they make like a movement. Or well, the kidneys too, I don't know. What I think is that you have to go down here and then keep going up here and do that like a zigzag inside the DNA. I got it. This part is very cool because you can choose to jump over or go under and since they know me, I'm going to jump. Ouch! Oh, I'm having so much fun with myself. Here it's much easier because it's between two and it's not so high. So I'm going to take flight to go between the middle. Ouch! I'm lacking commitment and this is something that can't be lacking and now comes another part that you have to climb. It's like the waves that I told you there were at the beginning, but I think there's too many and I'm gonna get tired. There are more than I thought. There's this one, which is where we are. And then there's that one, and then there's another, and another, and another. This game is going to go on forever. Wonderful and forever, but I love it. Do you like inflatable parks? Cause I love it. If you like inflatable parks, comment. Bye bye. See, we come to a part where we're supposed to go over this whole hill and jump one at a time to get over the whole obstacle. One, two, three. Ah, ah uh, no. I'm gonna hold on. I can't fall for anything in the world. There it goes. I'm exhausted. I'm almost there. Almost there. I have to balance to stop so I can jump this one. it is help 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 we're there another bunch of hills what's going on i really can't believe there's an inflatable this big remember this is the biggest in latin america imagine how big the biggest in the world would be and if we visit the biggest inflatable in the world subscribe so we can meet it probably hearing a super loud noise in the back, but what you're hearing are the fans. Here there are only two, but imagine how many fans there are to keep this park perfect. Look, we got to this part which is like the DNA that we passed on the one over there. From here you can see, like the one we zigzagged through. This one I'm going to zigzag through half of it. It costs a lot. There's a lot of pressure really. Let's see what, we're at the entrance of the park. That means we've read the whole loop. Let's see what other parts are at the entrance that we might have skipped in the excitement of getting in. See how crazy? There's this part with inflatable horses and I didn't see it. It's like the horse is weak. There's like a private room. What do I get? It's like a ballerina. The cameraman fell, but we're fine. 